morning and welcome to another little studio vlog it feels like a long time since i've done a studio vlog um but we're back and we're back for exciting reasons you might be able to tell i've got no makeup on today because I'm just feeling lazy so we're gonna go for that um i actually got a very long awaited delivery <laughs> the planners are here so yeah i have the planners they're all packaged up they arrived like yesterday afternoon so last night me and my mum put them in their biodegrad biodegradable wrappers and we put the stickers on so they're all packaged and ready to go oh, and we also stamped the back of them too so yeah we've got three crates full of them and the crazy thing is they're all already almost sold out like I think I only have like eight of these left now once I've packaged them and then maybe like I think there might be like 15 of these left we'll see but yeah i am very happy that these have finally arrived there's been a whole kerfuffle about it which i'm sure i will tell you about um also got these crates i saw that lucy wood had them on her vlog they're from a brand called kidly i'll leave them linked in the description and i thought there's such a handy thing to have they fold down flat as well so i'm gonna ideally once the planners are gone i'm gonna stack them up here i think um, and then put like the tissue paper and stuff in um, but I'm very excited it's been a whole mission to try and get these planners to arrive if you follow me on Instagram you'll probably know a little bit of what's been going on um, but long story short my suppliers have just messed me around so much let me take these off I can't decide whether I'm enjoying the no makeup face or not I put a little bit of concealer under my eyes but I feel like it's made me look a little bit dead <laughs> um but yeah, uh, my suppliers were ridiculous. I ordered these planners on the 15th of June. It's now like, what, the 9th of July or something? I can't remember what day it is right now. Um, so it's been a long time and the previous batch took two weeks. So I don't know why these ones took so long. And when they finally arrived, they were all printed wrong. I had like so much stock just wrong and I did not know what to do. So obviously I rang them, tried to sort it out. They said they'd, like they wanted me to send them back. So DPD came and collected them again. Um, and then it took another two weeks for them to be repaired and they kept ghosting me. And I rang them so many times. I rang them like four times in one day and it just kept going to answer phone. Um, and then yesterday I actually rang them on someone else's phone. Like two, I ended up ringing them on three different phones yesterday. So literally i rang them on my own phone didn't answer went to answer phone two seconds later we rang them on a different phone and they answered so i think they blocked my number <laughs> can you just don't we love great customer service so yeah that happened um i rang them about eight times yesterday it was a stressful day they told me they were going to arrive um so at least they arrived but i'm still not happy with that service so do not recommend i'm debating whether to name and shame <laughs> we'll see um but yeah i get asked a lot like who my suppliers are and these things are the reasons why i don't recommend my suppliers actually there's two reasons one because it takes me a lot of time effort money stress to find out my own suppliers anyway it's a valuable bit of information that i'm not willing to like hand out for free on the internet you know and two I've had like four orders from this company that were absolutely fine and it was until this last order that they really royally messed up and their customer service was shocking they literally ignored me so that is the reason I don't share suppliers because I don't trust anyone um but yeah today we're packaging the planners it is like 8am I think I woke up pretty early I was gonna wake up earlier but I think the stress of yesterday just made me want to have a night uh, have a lie in um so we're gonna package the planners and we have the new tissue paper too, which I'm very excited about. I've been waiting for like the planners to arrive before I use the tissue paper. Obviously I've been shipping out other things, but I wanted to like make this like a, an exciting occasion. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the tissue paper in a second too. But first I need to sort through the orders. I printed off all the orders yesterday on my printer. I use integrated labels. I will leave them linked in the description. So these are the orders. And what I'm gonna do is categorize them into similar different like order sections i've just sat on my glasses 
good so it makes the order process a lot easier so that is the first task for today i'm gonna listen to some music i've got my funky trousers on these were from shein if you wanted to know and we're gonna sort out these orders count the orders and count how many different boxes I need I think I've counted them right <laughs> we'll see but these are the bigger boxes um, I'll leave the link to where I get these from in the description because I love them a lot it's a great company and I'm just gonna count them out I already have one made up from when I was testing it so yeah right so my trusty assistant aka my mum is actually at work today so I'm gonna try and get these in to the 11 o'clock post i think the postman picks things up at half 11 at my local post office and then like half four so we're going to aim for half 11. what time actually is it i can't remember wake wake your laptop oh my laptop's dead hang on all right so i put my watch on it is 20 to 9. um i'm hoping because i've done this before it's going to be quicker but we'll see. And I think I'm going to rope my dad in because my dad's actually off work. So I'm going to get him to do the manual labour part. I think I'm going to ask him to build these boxes. So yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> First, I'm going to put the stock on the bed so I can see it. Not forgetting the best tissue paper in the world. <gasps> it's so exciting. I love it. So I'm going to just make up the first couple of boxes so I can get started and then I'm going to shout my dad up to help and we'll see how it goes. I got into a knack of creating these boxes and folding them up um, and you might have seen in my most recent studio vlog I've sort of lost the knack and I always get cardboard cuts like paper cuts but worse but hopefully my dad can help out with this bit. All right, so I am gonna package up the first order, I guess. I don't know which one to do. Maybe I'll do the small one first. So I'm gonna use my tissue paper. Now, the lovely people over at No Issue very kindly gifted me this tissue paper. I showed you it a couple of weeks ago. Um, and since then, they've asked me to mention the tissue paper in a little bit more detail in this vlog. So thank you very much, No Issue, for sponsoring this little portion of the vlog. So if you cannot already see, I have created my very own Soul and Fire customised tissue paper. And I absolutely love it. It is so exciting. I freaked out so much when this arrived. And I've been, like I said earlier, I've been resisting the urge to... Um, use it because i wanted to save it for the planner restock um so yeah a little bit about no issue um they're really eco friendly um and i actually have because i've ordered these i've joined their no issue eco packaging alliance i have a little sticker on my desk um or on my wall which i will show you um but it basically when you buy a thing from no issue when you buy one of their products they'll plant a tree somewhere in the world so when I placed my order I got to pick which area in the world you could plant your tree which is obviously really cool and then I have the badge to put on my website which is actually on my sustainability page and then I have obviously the sticker in my office. All of their products as well are eco-friendly they do stickers they do like a stamp so you know like I have stamps on my boxes they have stamps they do like little postcards thank you cards and stuff but yeah it was just so easy to design i literally designed this on illustrator they have the dimensions of the full sheet of tissue paper actually let me show you so i've chopped this up this is like pre-cut ready for my products i spent ages the other day cutting them up but the sheets come in a few different sizes um but this is the size i got so they're in huge sheets and you can cut them to whatever you want. I think I got 250 different sheets. So this is going to last me a good while. And I'm just so happy for that extra little bit of branding. I think it just adds that little bit of personalisation, pizzazz. 
excitement i don't know maybe it's just me that's excited about tissue paper but custom tissue paper is sick so yeah uh their online editing tool thing to upload the designs is great you can pick like the colors it shows you on screen exactly what it's going to look like printed and you can change the colors they have free shipping worldwide on all their things so yeah i'm very impressed obviously personalized tissue paper custom tissue paper is an investment but if it's something that you want to do for your business i'd highly highly recommend looking into going with no issue their service is so smooth hassle free and their shipping times are actually really really quick it came a lot faster than they said it was gonna so 10 out of 10 from me but yeah right let's let's package these up i'm going to show you how i plan to um pack all these orders i'm very excited i'm also kind of scared like this is the start of something new isn't it i just cannot right i need to move this big chunk of paper somewhere another reason i bought these boxes was to store some of this paper when it's chopped up because i don't want to like crease it up i have a small box here let me just find the correct pile of orders i've like messed everything up now this is why i need my mum to help she's the organized one like i am organized but not a mum level of organized you know <laughs> um daily planners this is the pile i wanted all right so this first order is for two a5 daily planners it's going to bedford um and we're just gonna use this so what i've done i chopped the pieces into like long strips and this full strip will be used to wrap up the uh, weekly planners and then half of the strip is to wrap up the daily planners however i've just realized i haven't actually chopped up any for the daily planners yet so <laughs> i'll do it quickly now for this demo and then i'll do a big batch of them ready but yeah so if i just quarter the tissue paper that i ordered it's the perfect size for my product it's like a small detail that i never really thought about before but now i've done this a couple of times i know that like i want to minimize my waste so i cut my tissue paper to size we have said tissue paper i need two daily planners so we've got two daily planners in their biodegradable packaging and i'm going to just place them this is really hard to film i'm going to place them in this paper like that i'm going to grab a you're the best little note card it's got a little message from me on the back and then you also get a free postcard too hand printed on recycled paper and i like to place the you're the best bit facing up the right way around so that you can see that's the first thing when you open the package then fold it over the tissue paper like so i have my little roll of stickers this is hard to do <laughs> with one hand i need to like streamline myself stick on the soul and fire look at that how sick does that look <gasps> i love it and then we slot this in the box and these boxes are the perfect size for the um daily planners look at it oh i love it and then i'm gonna fold up the invoice and put it on top and there we have it so when you open it it just kind of closes like a pizza box and i'll tape it up and that is the first order using the new packaging i absolutely love that i'm gonna have to take some photos of this okay moving on to the weekly planner so for this i have the long piece that i showed you earlier just gonna place it over the box then grab the planner i just cannot deal with how great these are i'm still obsessed you'd hope so <laughs> um like that then add in the thank you note and the postcard put the postcard underneath then fold it over Ooh, maybe if i line this up correctly i'll be able to have the seal like bang on in the middle add a little sticker then i've forgotten my padding stuff then i have a carrier bag with padding which is just chopped up tissue paper 
It's just my plain orange tissue paper that I used previously. This parcel is actually going <laughs> to Doncaster, so I'm not going to put too much padding in it because it ain't going very far and the boxes are really sturdy anyway. So there's that. And then I need the order form like before and we have a finished weekly planner i think this is super cute so obviously when there's an order that's going to like the usa or germany or wherever there's actually one going to canada today i saw that earlier um i'll add more of this tissue paper just to give it a little bit of padding in the post so when the posties are like throwing them all over the place <laughs> um but yeah look at it <gasps> fully obsessed okay so that's enough of me talking through it i have a lot of this to just keep repeating for the next couple of hours so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna set my dad up on his little tasks that i'm giving him for the day um and we're gonna get going i'm gonna try and get these done asap so i'm actually gonna like rearrange my office a little bit and make it more streamline i'm also not gonna sit on the floor because it's not very comfortable <laughs> at all i'm gonna use my alex drawers as a desk so, um, yeah, I will put you somewhere and we'll do a time lapse. We love a time lapse. The setup going on. Daddy's on the stairs folding the boxes because you've got the patience for it. Mummy is helping just before she goes to work. We've got a little production line going on and the vlog is happening up here. stacked up and organised. Dad's just taken a box downstairs for me and then we're going to go to the post office. I've put sticky notes on so the post office can be as organised as possible. So yeah, right. And just like that we are done. We've been to the post office. I didn't film it because obviously there was a, a queue behind me and here I was with a big pile of stuff. Um, but yeah, luckily someone else came on to the other desk so there were two people serving. It's all fine. The lady in there is so nice and we've got everything shipped off i'm back in my office as you can see i do still need to tidy up um it's not as bad as i thought actually i just need to reorganize everything um, i'm going to do a stock check of the remaining planners because we have i think there's 11 daily planners left you can see them there and then this is how many weekly planners we've got left so i'll probably need to order the daily planners pretty soon again um and then i'll just keep that weekly planner stock in stock um until it gets low and then i'll order some more of those too but yeah i can't believe the feedback we've got um actually before i start talking nonsense i need to send the order shipment notification things to everyone so i'm gonna go on to shopify i use shopify if you didn't already know i talk about it a lot um and i have all the orders that haven't been sent or in yellow so what i do is i can't i can't show you my screen obviously because it's got people's information on it but I am highlighting all the orders and then I click on more actions and fulfill orders. I guess I could show you this. So I will definitely be blurring most of the screen here, but fulfill orders. I've ticked all the orders. Press fulfill. These orders will be marked as fulfilled. Press it. Send a notification to the customer. Woo! -hoo. So that's it. That's all the pre-orders sorted. I'm gonna change the name in the shop because obviously it says pre-order before 
the actual title of the product so i'm going to change them now because we have them in stock finally um which i'm very happy about i just need to double check how many i've got so i don't like oversell um so i'll do that later today i've also discovered that i need to order some more stickers because we went through so many stickers like sealing the packages up um so i need to order some of them and i need to print off some more free little postcard things so i've got some sort of like shop admin to do today um but i will get on to that and i'll report back um when there's something interesting to say oh also i made myself a smoothie because it is now 20 past 11. we made great time by the way in the post office i think it only took like 20 minutes because i'd categorized everything and put the sticky notes on it didn't take too long i think it took about like 20 minutes maybe 25 minutes which is pretty good for the amount of parcels i had so yeah right time to tidy up and count the stock <laughs> 